before 1400, there were over 600 of Native Americans living for thousands of years on the very ground that we're sitting here today. We just got done hearing uh, Peter McDonald Sr., one of our Navajo Code Talkers speak. There's only five left um, alive, so we're so excited and honored to have him on our campus. Shortly after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the United States was getting ready to fight back in the Pacific. They ran into one big problem, communication. They tell us that in any war, no matter how far back you go in history, the site that has the best communication normally has the advantage in war. In our case in the Pacific, the enemy had the advantage. Why? Because they were breaking every military code that was being used by United States Marines, Navy, Army, and Air Force. It was an amazing turnout, standing room only, and uh, you can see it's been about 45 minutes since the speech was over. People are still in line to get his autograph um, and to buy a copy of his book. Um, this was Native American Heritage Month, the month of November. It was also the week of Veterans Day. And what better way to celebrate in Notre Dame than with um, a Native American who was also so instrumental um, in our military uh, during World War II. And so this is just uh, a really emotional, moving event. It was informational, uh, and um, we're just happy we had another chance to, to do a great program. War is ugly. War is bad. But why do we send our young people into battle like that? Because we love this country. That's why. We don't want the ugliness of war to ever be felt by our own parents, our relatives. We want to keep it away. Thanks again to the Office of Human Resources, our Vice President, Bob McQuaid, um, for helping us support our diversity and inclusion speaker series, discussion series, uh, and the ongoing conferences and workshops that we do here at the University of Notre Dame.